Hi, my name is Will and welcome to my channel. I've lived in five countries in four years and yes, I'm still traveling. I'm currently in the Dominican Republic in the amazing city of Sosua, famous for Sosua Beach. But in this video, what I'm going to do, I'm going to explain to you how to leave the Dominican Republic step by step. What did I do? I actually left the country. Let's put it that way, easy. And I went through the entire process step by step. So I'll explain it to you. I had to return to the United States. And as I told you before, I'm staying in Sosua. And the closest airport is Puerto Plata, which is airport code POP. I took a taxi, which is at a minimum cost of $25 or 1,500 pesos, and it is only 15 minutes away. One other thing that's very important when entering or leaving the Dominican Republic, you must go to a website called e-filing ticket and register and fill out a short form. That way they know when you enter the country and also they know how long you have stayed the Dominican Republic has a very unique system for when you overstay your tourist visa and I'm going to break it down in the video for you. I'm here at the processing area to exit the country and I have to pay 4,000 pesos and I've been here for nine months so it's just that easy. I love the Dominican Republic. Gracias. So as you know I stayed nine months. I paid 4,000 pesos which is basically just a little less than a hundred dollars. The reason why I stayed nine months is because once I arrived, I realized this country was absolutely beautiful. I wanted to absorb the culture, get to know the people, and ultimately taste the food. Can we give it a try? Mm. Because of the Dominican Republic, this is where I decided to start my YouTube channel to take everyone along with me on my adventure. And thank you guys, we've reached a thousand subscribers and it's only because of you, the viewers. So what you need to do right now is you need to click that subscribe button smash the like leave comments please but also most importantly click the bell so that every time i post a new video you get to see it okay guys now let's really break it down and i apologize i'm in the pool because it is really hot here even though it's overcast it's still hot so and I have are my you complaining no i'm not complaining and i have my handy dandy notes here and like I said previously, I stayed for nine months and I paid 4,000 pesos, which is just under $100. But let's say you decide to stay for two years. For two years, you pay 9,500 pesos. But let's say ultimately you get here, you love it, you want to purchase a home and you want to set up life and you stay 10 years, that is 70,000 pesos or a minimal, minimal $1,200 for a 10 year stay. That's just amazing, right? You forgot something. Because you know, not everybody wants to stay a year, 10 years or five years. How about you want to stay like less? You can do that. But how much? That's the whole point of the video, honey. But I said nine months, three more months. Yes, it's a year and okay, then you pay so 5,000 pesos. Give the it's data. It's that simple, 100 bucks. Give the data. I gave the data. Oh, you see? The... Uh -huh. Coconut trees. No, it's a palm tree. <laughs> All right, go ahead. No, I gave the data. If you stay nine to 12 months, it's 5,000 pesos. I okay. said that. $100. And 9 to 12 months? Oh, you want me to do that too? Yes, please. And we did that. And 12 to 18 months is 6,500 pesos. Honey, you should always respect the cameraman. Whatever. Well, I hope the cameraman didn't interrupt the video too much. And I hope you actually got some real information. But one thing I want to let you know, honestly, I have not been back in the US for eight years and going back was truly kind of a traumatic situation. One thing I've never understood, when you arrive, the plane stops, everybody jumps up, but you jump up and you stand in line. And what does that cause? Nothing but problems. And let me show you one of the problems I had on my plane. Back, I'm not dealing with that. I would never tell you. Yeah, chill, I would even tell you to get the bus and hurry the fuck up. Like, just chill. We all waiting. Okay, now you see after that shot, you understand why I'm outside of the country and I'm in the Dominican Republic where everything is manana, take it easy, tranquilo, and who knows where else in the world I might be next. But what I'm gonna do is say, I hope you enjoyed this video and you got some real information on how to actually leave the Dominican Republic. And as you saw, it is a very, very simple process. So no stress, relax, and remember to smash the subscribe button, click the like, and once again, like I said, also ring the bell so that you know whenever I post a new video. So what I'm gonna say is goodbye, adios, au revoir. It's a good video, honey.
Yeah, should be. Yeah. Let's hope. Please. Put that at the very end. My superstar. Whatever. Let's go.